All across this country, the pandemic disproportionately impacted people of color. Things like access to care, whether or not someone has insurance, income, education, transportation barriers, those are all things that determine health outcomes. The pandemic came in and basically just exposed what was already at play. And then as the vaccine became available to the general population, how do we get deeper into the communities to ensure people can have access to the vaccine? I think we have a unique opportunity to really learn and also to rewrite some wrongs as well. One of the things that I think is very vital to the congregation is for us to be able to be a holistic center for the community. We're just not a church that worships on Sunday morning, but we're concerned with Monday through Saturday. If you're connected to the neighbors, if you're connected to the community, you can do the work if they trust you. Montgomery is the civil rights epicenter. This is the place where Rosa Parks incited the bus boycott. This is the place that launched the nationwide civil rights movement. There was a history here of medical mistrust, right? Montgomery is, you know, not far from Tuskegee where the experimentation took place in the black community around syphilis. Partners in Health is a global social justice organization centered around ensuring that vulnerable populations have equal access to health care. We are partnered with the city of Montgomery here organizing a equitable response to the COVID-19 pandemic. Pastor Williams was already doing the work, delivering services to the communities that they needed. We moved over 70 tons of food uh, and we served 19,000 households. The food pantry was just the beginning. We just basically said, look, you're already a trusted messenger in the community. How do you feel about, you know, vaccine uptake? Partners in Health realized that we were connected to the community and that we had capacity to be able to serve our neighbor in a greater way. It allowed us to start a Get Out to Vax campaign that is started by the community and housed here at Metropolitan. Right now, uh, we're at uh, one of our great partners, the King's Canvas. No one's doing vaccination like us. In the back, we have a jump castle. And then let's check out the band. We allow our neighbors to inform what we do. We allow the community to tell us that, hey, pastor, that's a great location, or hey, I love that event, but you really need to do one three streets over because the factory, they're gonna be off work at seven o'clock. So it's a relaxed environment. They can come see some art. They can enjoy some music, as well as they can get vaccinated. It's another way that we're going the extra mile to make sure the vaccine is able to get in the arm. When the community is not involved in those critical decisions around their health, you see a population that's about 30% that's been vaccinated. The language we use is very important. Ideas 42 really walked alongside of us to just make sure that language was appropriate. It dictates the narrative around this pandemic and around vaccine uptake. I have seen barriers drop just through giving a person information in a way they can understand. What I would hope is, is that systems would change, that we would really acknowledge that community-based organizations who are on the ground really are the ones that can inform work and that can cause transformation because we are willing to care for our neighbor.